Good morning, evening, night, people of planet Earth. My name is Weirdingar, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Origins mod as well as some add-ons and some data packs for more Origins in an Aterno server. I'll also leave a link to download the Starborn data pack in the description of this video in case you want to add it as well. If there are any other specific Origins you'd like me to include, please let me know down in the comments and I'll leave them in the description if it's possible for me. Right now I'm gonna teach you how to set up the server in Eternus and once we're done with that you'll also need to have the Origins mod as well as all the add-ons in your computer and I have a tutorial for that which is going to appear when you need it. Let's get right into the video. The first thing we're gonna do is create the Eternus server. We're gonna create a server in Java Edition and then once it's created we're gonna go into software, we're gonna change this from vanilla to fabric. Here you're gonna choose the fabric version you plan to use, in my case I'm gonna try with 1.16.5 and then I'm gonna hit install. Once this has installed we're gonna go to the left to the mod stuff and first we're gonna install fabric API. I need you to pay close attention here. After we're done setting up the server we're going to need to install the same things to our Minecraft launcher. But it is important that you include the exact same versions for fabric and for all the mods here in the server as well as in your Minecraft launcher. In my case I'm gonna install this one, the API version 0.33.0 and that means I'm gonna need the exact same version on my Minecraft launcher. So please take this into account for when you're doing the rest of the process. Then I'm gonna click on install and wait a couple of seconds until a checkmark tells us that this has been installed. We're gonna go back to the mod staff and we're gonna look for origins. Here the important one is the first one, the one that's named just origins. You're gonna probably need this in order for any of the others to work. You're gonna click this and you're gonna repeat the same process. Again, you have to take note of the version, the specific version you're gonna be using. In all the cases, I also advise installing the newest version. I'm gonna click here, install and wait for the checkmark to appear. Now we can go back to the search bar and type origins once again. And here you have all the add-ons you can add to the origins mod. I'm not gonna do it right now just for the sake of time. And once you're done adding all the add-ons you want to have in your world, we're gonna go to worlds here on the left. If you have just created your server, you can click here on generate and set everything you want on your world and then click generate once again. If you'd like to add a world you already have on your computer, you can click here where it says upload, go to folder, type on your address bar percentage app data percentage, go into .minecraft, saves, and select the world you want to upload to the server. Once you have this done, you're gonna go to server and here you're going to start it. Here you'll hit accept and wait until your server is loaded. If you only want to play with the origins mod and some add-ons maybe, this is all you gotta do. Then you can move to this tutorial and continue the process for installing the fabric launcher on your computer and having the origins mod on your computer as well. But for those of you that want to add some data packs, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. We're gonna go to worlds, we're gonna go here to files, then data packs, and here we're going to add the origins that come in the data pack. In my case, the Starborn origin. You're gonna hit here on upload, and you're gonna go to wherever you save the file, click on the zip and hit open. Now that the file is here, we need to reload the server. We're gonna go back to the server tab and hit restart. Now that we have finally reloaded our server, we're gonna connect to it. Before we log into our server, we need to also install the origins mod and all the add-ons into our computer. I also have a tutorial for that, so if you haven't done that yet, please go do it now and then come back to this video. And please remember that the versions need to be the same both for the server and for your computer. We're gonna open the fabric loader, in my case version 1.16.5. And now that Minecraft's open, we're gonna go to Multiplayer, Direct Connection, enter our server's address, click Join Server, and as you can see, I can now choose my origin. And this also includes the Starborn origin. I'm gonna select this one, and as you can see, I'm a Starborn. That's been everything on my end, I really appreciate you watching all the way through. Any doubts you may have, please leave them down in the comments. My name is Werdingar and I hope to see you again in a different video. Bye!